hello everyone and welcome to Sid Hawk's Let's Play. In the last episode I uh, basically built up the whole base and uh, we went through uh, and met some evildoers so to speak and this time we'll start on our research etc. Uh, anyhow let's get into it and we do that by that's the place we go uh, upgrade database that's the log that's where we are this is our blasters and my machine gun here's the research tree now this looks a little bit like it's got shit tons of stuff, seeing as we got that tree and that tree. But no need to worry. Uh, let's see, that is good to have. If I double click that, um, that is also one that I want to research. Repair is also one I want to research. And Ammunition handling, Sentinel Towers level 2, Headquarters level 3. That is something that I'll be needing. And the orbital scanner is not too bad a thing either. That is something that I really want. And that is a spear. That one we're going to put on the top. So we start with researching that. Then that radar pulse, dodge roll, grenades, armory level 2, maybe. To be able to go down there later, I will be needing that, so. Yeah, I guess I need all these weapons to be able to do that. But yeah, I want the spear, because spears got very nice range. And this one I can't start on until I'm that part of the story. Um, I'm going to do a fast be right back here to check what the SMS has said. I believe that we can do this in a better way. We have to defend ourselves and secure the necessary resources to set up the rift station. But we don't have to destroy all the wildlife we encounter. Humanity doesn't need another stripped down factory world. If we want to progress as a species, then we should study this planet and learn how to blend with the environment and prepare a safe home for humanity. Yes, yeah, you see, this has been uh, something wrong with my save, so I started up here again, which is a problem in itself. It looks but, like yeah, the base be... If you'd like to construct more advanced buildings, you'll have to upgrade the headquarters building. Unfortunately, this process also emits a lot of high-frequency energy. Yes. Yes, it does. These creatures are clearly drawn to our energy emissions, so it will be like an alarm bell for them. We should strengthen our defenses before upgrading the HQ. If you just could shut up so I can speak. Uh, yeah, so I'll be building this from the start again. So I'll catch you in a few seconds. For you, for me, it's like an hour. <laughs> yeah, hello everyone. This is basically where we last time met. And I started to take on a lot of different researches. And I was thinking, shit, I took a lot of researches and I made them like my own. But it's interesting to actually see what kind of ones we need. Storage tower ammo factory, yes. The thing is that we really want all of these. Communication hub 2, level 2. Yeah. Cobble we need and want. Orbital scanner, yes please. That one we want. Radar pulse. Maybe. Yeah, that should be a good one. 
Dorsal, no grenade, no armory. Level 2. Do we need that? Not really. Directly. That one we've got there. And I need that one before that one. Uh, yeah. I don't really want any of these, so I'll just skip them. Well, I want them, it's just that since my download is plus one, that will take forever and ever, ever. <coughs> Energy sensor, that soon seems good. Build a communication hub. I'm done with that. Uh, the next thing that I'll be researching is a spear. The good thing about that is... Let's see, we need one of these. These cost... I'm full of ironium, but carbonium I've got a little bit less of. Let's walls a bit south and see if we can't run on to some carbonium mines or something. I think I got my saving set to uh, every half an hour. And that's not the case now that I have uh, gotten re <coughs> re-tossed back controls. Perfection, that's not what I'm interested in. Settings, graphics, audio, interface. Gameplay. Um, oh, it is every 30 seconds. Goodie. Ashley. Now that the basic base setup is complete, we should start working on our primary objective, constructing an interplanetary rift station. It is going to take a long time to build, so we should start working on it as soon as possible. That's yes, true. Riggs. It's a massive building with multiple components and pipeline connections for plasma fuel and coolant. It's going to be the central structure in our base, with multiple support buildings, so we should plan a lot of free space around it. Let's start by placing the foundation. I'll show you what I've done here. I've emptied these out, so they are... They got, like, a thing in the middle. So that I can place whatever there. <coughs> and up north here, I have actually started to place things. These are containers, uh, storage containers for uh, mana, etc. Mana, etc. That's energy storages. Speaking of energy storages, can I make that one now? Yes, I can. This one will be needing a lot of different stuff. Now I'm running there for some odd reason. Um, I want it near water. There is near water enough. Construction of the Rift Station's foundation is in progress. Congratulations, Ashley. This milestone marks the beginning of the next chapter of our mission on this planet. You sometimes sound a bit like Colonel Nordstrom. Do you know that? I received additional instructions on how to motivate you and keep your spirit high during this mission. They were indeed written by Colonel Nordstrom and revised by Admiral von Blofeld. Would you like me to read what I was instructed to tell you for this occasion? Oh, please do, Mr. Riggs. This is exactly what I wanted to hear after traveling halfway through the galaxy. Captain Novak. You were selected for the rift jump to Galatea 37 as an exceptional individual. You are amongst the elite of the elite of Earth's expeditionary forces. 
During your services with the Extraterrestrial Science Corps, you have time and again shown courage, bravery, and an unflinching willingness to sacrifice yourself to complete your objectives. You are destined. Okay, that's a nice speech. It sounds very uplifting. But they didn't read my bio very well. What do you mean? The sacrifice part. Do you mean the Orion mission? You were working without me back then. Yes, that and a few other things. Do you want me to read further motivational pieces? That's enough of Colonel Nordstrom. Let's skip the military pathos and stick to your original programming. We've got a planet to explore. Roger that, Ashley. I am arc all of the motivational speeches. Yeah. Let's start on making uh, that uh, spear, shall we? We'll craft a few of them. Crafting completed. Crafting completed. Because as I remember the last time... Crafting completed. Uh, they are going to be different. This is 466, 81, 81. Equip that one. And then... Those are equipped. Disassemble you. Yes. You. Yes. And you. Yes. Because this got some splendid reach. And it's nice to kill stuff with. I This is the weapon I prefer amongst weapons. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. You are correct. I should be doing that. Instead of running around with this thing. Being happy. Uh, Rido. More storage facilities. There we go, and more of those. Not enough carbonium. Amado carbonium. Uh, yeah, I wanted to check south there. I saw that. Let's wait until that one finishes in 15 seconds because something is probably going to happen. Like a huge. Monster or something coming for a visit. The construction of the Rift Station Foundation has been completed. We need to construct all of the Rift Station components before we can start powering up the portal. The Rift Station has three main components that require a lot of rare resources to be built. The fusion field accelerator requires enriched uranium. The hyperparticle condenser requires palladium and the quantum gate stabilizer, which requires titanium. We haven't found any traces of these elements near our base. These resources might not be present anywhere near our location. We should construct an orbital scanner to start scouting for interesting locations around the entire planet. It will allow us to establish precise coordinates for long range rift jumps around the planet. We don't have the scanner. required schematics to build. Research completed. Uh, orbital scanner. Headquarter. Orbital scanner. Push you to the top. Or yes. Orbital scanner. Four minutes. We have to download the orbital scanning technology through the communications hub. Yes, we do. Um, that means I have some time to run down and... What in the hell?
to saw that that carbon place still had a piece that I could have put there. This is a carbon ore. Could make this into a, a base over here. Or I could make this base up here go down there. Let's start with building a small little cucumber base down here. There we go. And let's make this one, this one. And uh, let's put some digaronis into the ground. carbon and uh, since we are here let's start by making this Ashley I'm detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed a fog is forming up that's perfection this very fog is very dense it's affecting the efficiency of our solar panels and wind turbines. Based on my calculations, it shouldn't last for long. Two more. Ashley, we need more AR cores. Micronium storage great. is full. Build more storage facilities. Uh, storage facilities, you say? There comes a time when I'm thinking you are just making a yoke out of me. Not enough carbonium. The fog is clearing up. Uh, orbital scanning technology, 10 seconds. Booyah. A new technology has been developed. The orbital scanner uses advanced technology and requires additional resources in order to be built. We need to gather a large amount of cobalt to construct this building. Alright, it looks like we're missing another piece of technology. This element isn't easy to find, so we'll need to download the cobalt handling technology and search for it with the geoscanner. Yes. Have you crashed or are you saving? You probably crashed. Damn it! Yep. Missing another piece of technology. 
This element isn't easy to find, so we'll need to download the cobalt handling technology and search for it with the geoscanner. Yes, we do need that. Um, I'm working on the cobalt handling spec now directly. So I just realized I need that one as well. It's another two minutes before it's done. Uh, the rollback wasn't insanely long, but I see that this is not done either. I have to redo that, I'm afraid. Not afraid, afraid, I'm just saying. It's starting to become a bit tedious, these rollback problems that I'm having with this game. One or two times that happened during the first... Um, the wind is picking up speed. Loose objects are starting to fly. Right, oh. The first time I played this, it had the same problem. I'm just thinking that they should be working on that before they do DLZ! The wind is much stronger than usual. Okay, that builds up our... This door just should be enough. If the wind is still up in 14 seconds. Yeah, I'll go a bit down southward and uh, explore a bit. And yeah, I created this southbound thingy. Shenanigan. The wind is calming down. Are you out of juice already, my friend? Yeah, I put one on the edge like that. Hello, guys. Yes, I've come in peace to shoot and kill. A new technology has Ashley, my sensors are picking up an underground cobalt deposit nearby. I've marked its approximate location on your map. We should go there and search for it with the geo scanner. It's not that close, really. We should craft some better equipment before we try to venture out that far. Carbonium! Jesus! This is what I need. I really need this. You can't really see it, but down there in the south, and I put my mouse there as well. Did not help a lot, did it? I increased the rate in which I uh, auto save to 10 minutes instead of half an hour like I had before because that means I'm losing only 10 minutes next time the game bugs out. Let's walls down here and see what we can find. Hello there.
Poor creature. Hello, guys. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Evil people. You don't like being pissed with a spear? Oh, no. Be right back while I'm fighting these and uh, see you at the cobalt. Yeah, I got a lot of uh, dudas coming into my base. Let's see, 32 out of 60. This is a nice one. Perfection, that's how you build. Biomass power plant. Yes, sir, sir. Danger! A hostile swarm is moving in on our base. They are almost upon us. Yes, they are almost upon us. Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Base is under attack. Wall destroyed. Wall destroyed. That's very good. See now these are still standing there because they are mighty. Uh, hip. Hip. No repair. There we go. And you're done. Let's see, <laughs> is it true that my energy plant that I just put down don't have any energy? 
No, it isn't, is it? Yes, it is. Dear Lord. Ashley, I'm detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming up. A fog is forming. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. You don't think I've got enough? It's hard to see anything in this fog. Of storage. Okay then. I'll make another row. I think that I've got too much of storage, but that's just me. There we go. Anyhow, let's teleport back to where we were. Fjomp. Because we were getting a bit closer to that shenanigan. Okay, so this is the way we do it. Listen it. I think I need a grenade launcher. Because that would be doing... It looks like some of these creatures' attacks are originating from a common point near our base. Interesting. We should go and investigate that area. No, first we're going to research. Research completed. Old scanner, cobalt handling, biomass energy, that one. We are looking for weaponry, and that weaponry is explosive weapon. There we go. Repair tower is nice, but this one is top priority now. Two, one, and go. Locked a chainsaw. The fog is clearing up. Are you forcing me to go backwards all the time? I'm off the cobalt, but I need to go back because. That dense layer of dudas are attacking the base or something, something. Also need to pick, pick up my research so that I can research things faster. There we go. is full. Build more storage facilities. Warning! Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. Ashley, now that you've got practice with using the geoscanner, you can use it to search for hidden resource deposits, geothermal vents, or any other underground anomalies. Yeah, I died there. It's going there. to be very useful. We could at least scan the area around our base with it. Who knows what's hiding under our feet? It is also capable of finding hidden underground alien life forms. Then we should definitely check the area around our base with it. We now have enough cobalt to construct the orbital scanner. Also, be mindful of this building's energy consumption. We should probably build some additional power plants and improve our energy storage capacity before connecting it to the power grid.
should probably get our spear from down there first. Oh, you're still fucking on to C No Z Warning! A new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Is that the same nest as before or is this a new one? Let's see if we can't make a new spear. Right, create one first. Chainsaw. Yeah, I'll craft that one rather. Crafting completed. Now we can go for the nest. Since we got enough cobbled. Carbonium storage is full. We should construct more storage buildings. Let's try to not look at the menu while we are fighting, okay? Uh, orbital scanner building. Can start by making that Base one. Is under attack. Yes, it is. Of course, it is. The fight will probably be over once I'm there. Oh, god dang it! No, that fight won't be ever over. Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Yes, I know, I know. Uh, prepare. Base is under attack. A building has been destroyed. One of our energy connectors has been destroyed. Yes, I know. I should have put walls around it and stuff, but I did not do that. Uh, are you still? To sell these, weather conditions are changing. Wind speed is increasing. I am probably not going. This is probably a silly idea to go for that. The wind is much stronger than usual. Hostile creatures are coming from a nearby nest. We should go there and clear it out. I know, I'm doing that. Well, I'm not doing that, I'm shooting the stuff that are on the way, but... You know... Ironium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Could be that that's enough of storage facilities. Oh, hello. Two minutes left on my 
A little rocket launcher. Oh, hello. This spear's got frost on it, which uh, slows them down. And that's nice. And it kills them with piercing damage. Now let's see. Warning, a new group of hostile creatures is coming from a nearby nest. Yes. I kind of felt that. Wind is calming down. Wind turbine power output is coming back to normal. It's ironic that that Dudas came spawning in at the same time as I was there. This looks like a nest of some sort. We should clear it out and reduce the strength of hostile attacks. There is a lot of them inside. This might be difficult. Yeah. One minute and 34 seconds left. That's another target. Carbonium storage is full. Build more storage facilities. chances of survival every bit helps what was that yeah I don't know let's go up and take this care of this one first time they will spawn and attack me. There we go. A new technology has been developed. New blueprints are available for crafting. Heal up a bit and then go for it again. And this is the second time I'm doing this, so this time they will spawn when that spawns. back home and create that shenanigan that we wanted to create like four million years ago. There we go. We'll make it over here. Orbital scanner construction is in progress. But before we start jumping off to different parts of the planet, we should build the necessary local research facilities. The communications hub can only help us with downloading already developed technologies back from Earth. Still, one of the main reasons why we came here is to conduct research and to learn about the environment that we encounter here. We can research new technologies based on samples of alien life forms or any new substances that we encounter if we construct the alien research laboratory building. 
The Alien Research Laboratory is a complex structure and requires multiple schematics in order to be built. Download the necessary technologies using the communications hub. Let's see, liquid resources and alien research. research. completed. It should be over here, shouldn't it? Liquid resource handling. I can't do that because I need to do you first. Headquarter level 3 will pick you up to the top. And then he is going to be built, and then he is going to be built. Right oh. Anywho, this has been fun. Have a nice day, make sure you like and subscribe and all that jazz, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye bye.